And if you are headed out to any events today, you may need to keep that rain gear with you as I am watching some showers and thunderstorms that are continuing to build into the area. You can already see some raindrops on our sky cam at our North Oaks Medical Center in Hammond. North Shore in South Mississippi has seen some rainfall this morning. We're going to continue to see this spreading towards the south throughout the day. So if you do have those outdoor plans, be aware of this shower activity that's continuing to move across the area. Have your WDSU weather app handy and you can track the radar as you're heading out and about today. Across the North Shore, some shower activity still building into parts of Tangibahoe Parish into Hammond. A little drier for you in Washington Parish now, but some more rain just off to the north. That shower activity in Mississippi now across the I-10 corridor. Heavier rain near the Socher area, not seeing much in the way of lightning right now, which is certainly some good news. Near New Orleans East, you've got some thunderstorm activity as well, continuing to build towards the south over Lake Pontchartrain. We'll continue to see these showers and thunderstorms kind of building up as we go throughout the day. You can see the heaviest rain still off to the north, just kind of hanging around this area will gradually move towards the south as we go throughout the day, and that's because of a rare cold front for this time of year is going to continue to push all of this moisture towards the south. We're not going to see much in the way of cooler temperatures, but it will be less humid. You can see some clearer skies behind the front, so once it passes through, we are going to be looking at some nicer weather, but if you did have plans maybe to go to the beach today, may want to hold off until Sunday. Grand Isle, Gulfport, Pensacola, high rain chance throughout the day, cloudy and temperatures only into the mid 80s. So that's the trade off. We do get a little bit cooler thanks to the rain and the cloud cover. As this front continues to push towards the south, we'll still see our coverage of rainfall throughout the day and into the evening hours. Once it moves through overnight, a few coastal showers Sunday morning, partly cloudy skies to start the day. I do expect a little bit more sunshine to end your weekend. And although highs will reach 90 degrees, I think it's going to be feeling a lot less humid thanks to that front. That's what the front going to do for us. Again, temperature is still going to stay pretty warm, but overall looking for more sunshine as we start Sunday and into Monday. A few isolated showers may start to creep back in, so we do have a 20% rain chance on Monday. Saturday, again, a 60% chance for showers and storms. So here's a look at the moisture, and right now we've got plenty of it. As we progress throughout the overnight hours and that front moves through, we start to slide down the scale. Some more drier air is going to filter in. Winds are actually going to shift to the north, and so we get away from those humid conditions in the Gulf of Mexico. So throughout the day today, these are our wind speeds on average 5 to 10 miles per hour. You could have some higher wind gusts and some of those thunderstorms that move through. But as we continue to go into the morning hours, notice these arrows kind of shifting. This is out of the north, so we are going to be pulling in some of that drier and cooler air. And of course, that sunshine is going to be returning as well. Right now, 82 degrees winds out of the west at 6 miles per hour out at the Kenner Airport. Temperatures across the area starting out in the low to the mid 80s. Not going to see too much in the way of wind warmer temperatures as we progress throughout the day thanks to those high rain chances but notice sunshine Sunday and Monday higher rain chances return as we go towards the end of the week.